in this video we are going to understand uh, how to increase the disk size or shrink the disk size which is not possible so we'll not go there but we should know that we cannot decrease the size or shrink the size of OS disk or data disk attached to the Azure VM so what we are going to understand in this video is two things first how to increase the data disk okay because when we increase the data disk from the Azure portal we also get inside the login and get inside the VM and extend the disk from inside first thing second to perform this step to increase the disk size we need to deallocate the VM only then the option will not be grayed out or will allow us to do it but in this situation the machine is off but if your customer doesn't want to shut down or deallocate the VM in that scenario how can you perform this step this is the main uh, agenda so let's try to understand before we perform the demonstration what we gotta do today let's suppose I'm just trying to rephrase, rephrase it uh, with the help of this uh, diagram so that you can understand what we are trying to achieve by this video okay let's suppose this is an Azure VM and we have these disk OS disk and data disk connected to the Azure VM okay just like I'll show you just like we have this our own dev VM with a disk which is OS disk you can see and the data disk right now what are we we need to resize okay let's suppose we need to resize OS disk and data disk we can resize but the resizing includes increase or decrease or you can say decrease or shrink and increase so we have already uh, confirm we cannot shrink we cannot decrease that's not possible but increase we can do by two methods first deallocate the VM and do it second without deallocating the VM so this is our task so let me minimize this get back here and right now the VM is in a running state if I click on that data disk go to the configuration you see it's grayed out and you it says disk size and account type can be changed only when the disk is unattached or the owner VM is deallocated so means right now the VM is in running state and it will not allow me to perform the action it will stop me it's a it's grayed out even if you do perform this uh, action with the help of PowerShell that I'll definitely show you in the next video uh, you know we have already covered that part whenever we do some kind of changes through the PowerShell increasing the size for example in this scenario we need to update the disk just like we need to update the VM when we do any kind of change in the VM like changing the size so update of the disk will require shutting down of the VM or you can only update when the V when the disk is not in use or not attached or VM is deallocated okay so uh, because if I if I re, if I deallocate the VM I would be able to perform the step okay you can see right now but what I want to show you this step this one without deallocating the VM will do it and then we'll do the deallocate as well so in that scenario what you can do you can simply stop it edit it and deattach deattach the VM oh sorry disk once you deattach the disk the disk would not be in use and you can change it okay so we got two ways of increasing the disk one is shutting down the VM so that this option would not be grayed out that I showed you and the second one is edit it 
detach the disk go to the disk and increase the size and then reattach it okay so uh, let's shut down the VM first and see the first step first this one deallocate the VM and increase the size all right so uh, okay this is the VM and you can see there is an e drive of 32 gigs right here 32 gigs so let me shut it down wait it will take a minute and we'll step we'll, we'll perform this step again now <clears throat> I have just uh, deallocated the VM it took like two to three minutes I don't know nowadays I have seen it is taking a normal more time than usual uh, in, in this case in this particular case it took two to three minutes to deallocate and right now even the portal is taking time but you can see now this option is not grayed out and I can extend it for example it's 32 let I can make it 40 and save it now if I save it after increasing the size, the size is increased uh, in, in the Azure, okay? That means if I go inside the VM, I could use up to 40 gigs, but my drive is 32 gigs, so I have to extend it. Okay, we'll see how to extend it later, but you can see if I deallocate, I would have this option to increase the size, right? Now I'll need to uh, power on the VM and we'll try to edit this disk from the configuration and then change the size the other way okay all right so it took a while again and now the VM is started and I'm logged in as well I saved some time I'm inside the VM and uh, okay let me show you something if I go here on this PC you will find this is the e-drive I showed you right and here not here here yeah. here we have increased it already to 40 gigs right but if you go inside the VM it still says 32 gigs because we have already ex we have only extended from the Azure we need to go uh, inside the VM and extend it you can do it from the disk management or from the uh, server manager right uh, let's type here let's go here and uh, let's do this okay okay where is the okay I don't see all right this is Windows 10 I forgot this is not uh, 2016 so we would have disk management uh, disk management you cannot hear oh, what's up okay all right mm. usually comes here disk management something's wrong with my eyes oh man all right so we are on the disk management and you can see this is the volume 10 and if you scroll it down you see 8 gigs are unallocated you right click here and you can extend it to the 8 gigs that we already have right next finish now it has extended this is the primary partition and now if I refresh it would be 40 gigs you see that but this time in in this uh, demonstration we had to uh, deallocate the VM which is the recommended way which is the suggested way by the Microsoft but it is not always the customer look forward to there are there are times when customer says please don't do that okay don't worry this is a lab VM and this public IP will change or I'll clear this VM after this call so don't worry 
All right, so in that situation, when customer says, I don't want you to deallocate my VM, please extend it without doing it. You only need to say, I, I can't do it. There is a way to do it. But during that period of time, it wouldn't take like hours. It would only take a couple of minutes. But your VM will not be down. But this particular disk will not be available for that particular period of time. I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. So this is the first way you have seen. Now the second way. You need to go here, click on edit. I told you, go here and detach it. Once this VM is detached, save it. Once this uh, disk is detached, now this is not in use. And if the, if the disk is not in use, you can extend it. Okay, see, it will take a minute or two while it is saving and you'll find this disk is not here. Okay. Now we need to, once this is saved, it is still going on I have opened the disk here this is still grayed out right but once this is this is the same disk data disk once this is saved not here here it is saved successfully refresh we're good now within a minute now you can see I can change it because it is detached it's not in use let me make it five zero click on save okay now it won't take much it is safe now we'll i'll go back to the machine click on add data disk and add it back 50 gigs right save it i have not deallocated the vm and you can see once it is saved you'll find right here you see but right now it says 40 gigs because we have to extend it again All right, let's do this. Extend disk management. All right, we have again this 10 gigs that we have added. Extend the volume. So you you can time, right? It was all live. It wouldn't go more than a couple of minutes, right? It's 50 gigs without deallocating the VM. There you go. So whenever somebody asks you during the interview or maybe during your customer call, you always go with the first option. Do you look at the VM and do it? That's how it is recommended. That's how it is suggested and that's how we're supposed to do it, right? But the, if, if the scenario is different, if the situation is different, customer is so adamant, I don't want it. Or maybe your interview says, is there any other way that this is the other way? That's how you can extend it. Well, thank you for watching. We'll try to extend the disk with the help of PowerShell and I'll show you when you do update EasyDisk, it won't let you update because your VM is running. So in that scenario, you do the same thing again. Well, thank you for watching. You have a good day. Bye-bye.